What's up guys, Hot Noob here, and in this video I'm going to be going over a very simple, basic DNS hack that still works on sadly like half of the crap that you'll run into. That's really fucking retarded. Anywho, um, this hack is uh, the most basic DNS hack that you can do, and it is pretty much the basis for all um, DNS hacks out there. Uh, the, the only difference is that other DNS hacks out there, they get a little bit more advanced and they start incorporating things like timing and a couple other features that uh, DNS does have and uh, using them to get around other security features and whatnot. But um, yeah, let me show you how it's done. It's very simple. Uh, I'll start off by just writing in the console here and showing you exactly what I've done. Um, I'm just going to ping ll.hotnoob.com and you should notice something really screwed up. What is it? Well, for some odd reason, I'm pinging myself. Why is that? Why is that when I ping some random name, I'm actually pinging my laptop or my computer or whatever? You guys can try this as well. Just ll.hotnoob.com and uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, give a shot. Try dosing it. See what happens. So, yeah. Uh, how this works is DNS records, or pretty much DNS servers in general, what they do is they just return an IP address. You say, hey, give me this, uh, th give me the IP address for this domain or this domain and subdomain, and you get that IP address. And this is just what it returns. So I've set up uh, my domain name to or subdomain name in this case to return ll.hotnoob.com and here is another example um, this is just some random name name that I've had I don't know I registered a very long time ago and I still have it I should probably sell it or something but uh, ud8.me I was thinking about making a dating site you know but never never got across to it anywho like this is just the full-fledged domain name and it points to localhost WTF. I mean, if you had a server and uh, you went to you date me or whatever, it would go to their server. That's crazy, eh? Um, you may not understand how powerful this is yet, so let me continue on with showing you how to set this up. It's absolutely simple. You go to your DNS provider. In my case, I'm using Cloudflare, which is ridiculous. And in fact, it's so retardedly ironic because their example here is points to, for example, localhost. <laughs> See the irony? Anywho, um, that's all it is. You just simply have to have your domain name return localhost. And you can actually take this one step further and have it uh, return another local IP address. That's one of which people want to commonly get access to. Oops, sorry. <laughs> uh, Share.hotnoob.com. Other way around. But uh, this would be trying to connect to the default uh, IP address for a router. Or it would be 1.0 or 1.1 or whatever. But you, usually it's uh, just a handful of IP addresses. So you have a pretty high chance of this actually working and if someone were to type it in share, uh, ping share.hotnoob.com it would send a ping to the router in my case my router isn't located at that IP address it's on some random IP for security reasons <laughs> anywho uh, moving on I'm going to show you how vulnerable everything is to this like if you go on Google and you search for like a website ping test almost every one of these sites is going to be vulnerable to what I just showed you. So let's try this one. This is the second result. I've already tried Pingdom. Pingdom is uh, checks for it, so that's good. And I'm going to type in ll.hotnoob.com. This is going to localhost. Just take a look. That's four of five servers right there that sent pings to themselves and then returned the responses. Four out of five. 
that kind of gives you an idea of the security. And I mean, look at this site. It looks all pretty and whatnot. So it's got to be at least half decent. And frick, they got their own trial crap. So let's try one more. And share dot um, hotnoob.com. I think they're not even a ping site. They're just some hosting site. I don't know. I haven't looked into this site whatsoever. But anywho, um, I'm going to ping again. This is to the default router IP address. This is some scary shit. The fact that any professional service of any kind would return to local, you know, would even use the default IP address for the router of 192.168.0.1 is pretty pathetic. And then what's even more pathetic is that it doesn't filter out for this. So this is very, very bad. I mean, if you had a data center that was on 192.168.0.1 or whatever, and someone and you you give access to it from your clients or your other smaller servers or whatever and someone were to use a dns exploit they could potentially uh, redirect all of your data center's traffic to some other location to some other website or whatever so that's very very sketchy right there okay um I have one more example, I think. Uh, I had another complex one, but I do want to keep this video short. So I'm just going to show you another way, which is uh, a loop back, which is where you get a server to connect to itself and then somehow again to keep trying to connect to itself. So I did run into this website here while I was looking for ways of getting around a uh, cross uh, scripts uh, sorry browser uh, cross scripts crap so you can do cross domain scripting or whatever and I actually ran into this years ago I'm still very surprised that this still works uh, I mean they don't give you any contact information so what I mean I can't tell them to fix it but uh, I mean crap whatever I mean it's the first example that came to my head so uh, let, let's explain how to figure out a loop back in the first place so this is really 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 stupid obvious so what what it does is uh, the way that it works with them is you have their domain name or whatever and you type in slash or whatever and then you type in another uh, domain name or another name and then of course it forwards all of the, the headers and whatnot so without getting into too much details I guess well it's actually really simple we're basically just saying uh, we want to use this proxy service to connect to localhost and then of course once it connects to localhost well the rules are in place so that it's thinks that localhost or someone else rather is sending them a, another request to connect to this other domain which happens to be localhost so type in ll.hotnoob.com and you're going to see that nothing's happening why because their website is down their server is down it won't load because oh, I just froze up their server just by telling it to go to this domain name this domain name that points to localhost so that's a great example so um, I'm just pretty much trying to show you that uh, this very simple hack can lead to a lot of trouble and you can end up uh, losing access to your routers, to having your servers not respond or constantly crash or randomly crash or whatever. And it's very hard to track down. Like, I mean, this is something that most people, most programmers, most IT professionals don't even give a second thought to, which is really just uh, DNS hacks in general. 
So that's kind of the whole point. The whole point is to educate people, to make them aware of this hack, and show them how simple it is and obviously how it works and what applications so that they can keep it in mind when they develop their shit to keep an eye out for this. Anywho, this is Hot Noob here and please subscribe.